I'm Judy Kliber, and I'm your representative from the 41st District. And I thought today I would talk to you about the transportation budget. The House budget came out on Monday, and the Senate budget came out on Tuesday. We've been working together, and in some ways they are almost alike, a few differences. But the important thing about both of these budgets is that they support 43,000 jobs across the state. We're spending $8.9 billion in projects. And these are projects that are mostly funded out of gas taxes that everybody voted on in 2003, 2005. So it is a way that we keep our promises with the voters. They supported us and we are building. Of the 400 projects, about 321 of them are nearly done. So we are slowing down on the number of projects, but we continue to have a huge investment. The thing that I like about it is the fact that it connects Washington. When you think about what transportation does for the state of Washington, it connects all the different areas and it creates a huge forum for economic development. So I have examples of things that we do that are little tiny investments. In uh, Oroville, we changed the weight load for a road that came from Canada into our state. and just because of uh, that very non-cost change, we've been able to have two different businesses go to Oroville and start up. And I, it always amazes me how all parts of the state take advantage of the connections that we're putting together when, we, when we're doing our transportation budget. One of the things that you heard a lot about over the last year was the, about the ferry system. And I think this budget is really a good news budget when it comes to ferries. We have taken the ferries, we have saved most of the service. They are absolutely the highways that connect the ferry communities to the rest of the state. But they're also iconic for people who come to this state to ride the ferries from people in eastern Washington who love the ferries and want to support them. And and one of the things we had to do was we had to make some savings. So we have about $10 million of savings that came out of a renegotiated contract with the labor force for ferries. And we have an equal amount that came from the management side. And that means that we did not have to cut the services that had been put into the governor's budget, but the House and the Senate have definitely have the service saved for the ferry communities. We will have to have new investment in order to replace all the boats, and that is something we're working on. But for the next two years, the ferry system will be sailing along and everyone will have uh, the service that they depend on.